Hi everyone, County Executive Cheryl Denelfo here with your latest Monroe on the Move update. In case you missed it, Monroe on the Move is a new video series we're launching to keep you informed on all things Monroe County in the days to come. You can learn more about our first Monroe on the Move video on my YouTube channel. Last week, Monroe County hosted our 10th annual Rochester Career Conference in partnership with Rochester Works, and I'm thrilled to say it was a huge success. Over 70 employers who were hiring were on hand with open positions in a wide variety of industries, from healthcare to manufacturing to food service and education. Best of luck and thank you to all the job seekers and employers who participated. There's no doubt that Monroe County is open for business. Well, winter made a snowy, blustery return to Monroe County over the weekend. My public safety team and I monitored conditions through the storm, and we remained in constant contact with our local towns and villages through our innovative new Web EOC snow and ice board technology. My thanks to all who heeded our calls to stay off the roads overnight, and to our DPW crews who worked hard to clean up and all of our local meteorologists who offered very accurate forecasts. We are always ready here in Monroe County. Speaking of winter, Sunday's weather was perfect for our Winterfest at Menden Ponds Park. Thanks to all those who came out in record numbers to enjoy family fun activities like sledding and skiing or watching the sled dog and snowshoe races. Thanks also to our dedicated Monroe County Park staff, community organizations, and volunteers who work so hard each and every year to make Winterfest a huge success. On Thursday, we joined the Commission Against Human Trafficking to raise awareness about this terrible crime with over 20 million victims globally. On Thursday night, in an exciting partnership with Roland Williams, Nurse Teresa Bowick, and Wegmans, we taught at-risk kids how to buy a tasty, healthy meal for just $5. And on Monday, we celebrated the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr whose message of equal rights and opportunity for all continues to run deep in Monroe County. We are one community of Monroe. Finally, I was in Indianapolis yesterday with Goodwill of Finger Lakes to tour the original Excel Center, which we hope to replicate here at home in Monroe County. The center is achieving incredible results by using education and skills-based training to help adult learners achieve high school diplomas and find rewarding careers and sustainable success for themselves and their families for years to come. Stay tuned for updates on our progress. I'm County Executive Cheryl Denelfo, and this is Monroe on the Move. See you next time and have a great week.